So this week I'd like to talk about three simple tips for planning ahead for the future. So for my number one point, it's going to be looking into the future, but to do that, you really need to look into the past. Job costing. Job costing is crucial. You need to know where you've been before you can plan where you're going. So it's crucial that if you're not job costing, you need to get help, reach out. There's lots of different avenues out there to reach out. You can find out if you're making money on every job. Every job should be job costed because you need to know what jobs you're profitable at and what jobs you're not profitable at. The ones you're profitable, those are the ones you want to chase after. So when you're planning your future, you want to plan on going after those jobs. It may be that you're phenomenal at building these backyard outdoor living spaces. And it may be, on the other hand, that when you do water features, you're losing your shirt. You're just not efficient at it. So you have to educate yourself. If you're not making money on those, say, water features again, you need to figure out either bid them properly or educate yourself better on how you can become more efficient at building those projects. You may have a love or a passion for those water gardens, but if you're not making money on them, it doesn't make sense to obviously invest in that area of your business. So if you can look back at your future or look back at your past, see where you've really excelled and made money, that's where you want to focus your business. Channel it that way. So at the end of the day, you're looking at a nice nest egg of cash that you have to invest back in your company so you can grow your company efficiently. So a little more detail on job costing. So I got to go back. I go back to the late 80s. We were a young company just starting out. Uh, we specialized then even in hardscaping and we were always doing square foot pricing and square foot pricing does not work. So we reached out, did a little bit of uh, research and we found a company, Vanderkoy Associates and Charles Vanderkoy, probably one of the greatest people that ever helped out our industry. Uh, we ended up hiring, and it was major sticker shock for us, so it was a lot of money out of pocket. And we're thinking, what are we doing spending this kind of money on a consultant to help us with bidding? But I tell you, looking back, it's the best money we ever spent. Because he brought us from, from unit pricing like that, or from square footage pricing to unit pricing. And basically what I mean by that is he taught us how to track, say we're going to cut a driveway um, in pavers. So we would actually know exactly how many linear feet we could cut in one hour capping a retaining wall. We started tracking that. How many feet of capping can we do in one hour? Straight wall. Now all of a sudden a radius wall. How much, how much time does it take in an hour to, or how many linear feet can we do in an hour for radius cutting? So things like that was super, super helpful for us. So we started being able to estimate by unit pricing. We could have a job that also come up. We would know exactly what it was. Say six by six, six by nine paver. We knew exactly how many square foot a crew could lay in an hour. So those numbers became extremely helpful to help us to bid accurately and then at the end of the day become profitable. So I would encourage you to reach out. There's a number of uh, landscape management companies now that are out there that will help you with this. It's worth every penny. Do your research. Get the right company. It's the right fit for you. Keep an eye out for our next video on Cherish Your Employees.